I'm high this morning. I've just had some head. It's January 2022 and I woke up at a girl's house. I'm now a university studying something I love, but today I can't focus when I'm learning filmmaking. I keep checking my messages to see if she'd reply. All of this energy for someone who isn't even mine. I'm too caught up with this girl. I'm moving slow today. I feel tired. I can't really trust her, but I have no other options. And this is the first girl I've been with for a while. I woke up that morning, not sure if she really wants me, that I was chasing someone who didn't feel the same way. I could feel it. I wasn't thinking straight. Earlier that morning, she showed me a new life hack where she would blow in the weed smoke and then we would blow it into each other's mouths. We were connecting on a bad influence. I had worked on myself for her to be attracted to me, but I stopped doing the good habits once I got her. I stopped putting myself first. I stopped doing the things that got her in the first place. I feel directionless and I can't concentrate on the things I love. I realized that chasing her is a bad idea. Even if I did try and convince her to like me, would she actually value me? I remember my self-worth should never be what others think of me. I lower my standards because I'm lonely and I'm lacking options. So when a pretty girl comes, I lose my purpose. Because I'm lowering my standards for a girl who doesn't want to be with me, I'm actually lonelier being with her. Thank you for clicking on this video, admitting to yourself that your life can be better. But I don't blame you. The distractions we've grown up in, it's easy, it's normal to feel like crap. The standard of living is video games. Work 40 hours for 50 weeks and then forget about it all on the weekend. Something that isn't questioned is the standard to go to school for 20 years work 40 years and then get excited about a four week holiday. I remember coming home after midnight, too tired to even shower and I'm crying about my low expectation. I quit my job two weeks ago. I'd been working there for seven years. The job was easy. The people I met were lovely, but that's what made it hard. It was easy. I was comfortable when I knew I could do more in this lifetime. I was coping, waiting for a few more paychecks when the moment is right. But when is the timing ever right? I waited two months of overthinking to hand in my notice to say that I'm leaving. I realized I could be on time. I can be early to a job that gives me mental health problems and bad sleep. But I would always wait until tomorrow for my goals, for the things that excite me. I've not been watching porn or jacking off for a while. I know what to do in my life now. My mental health is improving. Today, I have a loving feminine girlfriend who chooses to be with me, but I still have the random thoughts to watch porn. I thought that I would get to this point and not want to watch it anymore. I got to the end point of completing NoFap and yet the desires are still here. I don't make that an opportunity to talk down on myself as I realize I'm still fixing the pattern of my 12 year bossing career. This makes me consider, I'm working right now to become a millionaire. I'm not gonna be any happier when I get that first million than I am now. When I reach that first million, soon I'll be thinking, what about 10 million? We hold things off until the future to be happy. If I didn't have the goal to become a loving and present father, even when I'm not thinking about kids yet, I would relapse and watch porn like I did in my previous relationships when I didn't have a goal. Right now, you have a list of habits that you want to build or get rid of. Here's my list starting at the top. At the top, we have weed, sugar, porn, video games, sleep, diet, exercise. If you focus on the top habit, 
that benefits all areas of your life. But that top thing is hard because we are mentally relying on it. So start with the bottom of the list. The bottom of the list is the easy habit to add on. You will gain momentum from accomplishing one, which will give you evidence of achievement, which helps with the next habit. Track one single habit and only one. My mistake is trying to add several habits all at once, which would make me overwhelmed. And being overwhelmed is why I do the bad habits in the first place. We have so many things to go for when developing ourselves. To overcome being overwhelmed, increase success by focusing on one thing. If you're unsure on which habit to focus on, there is one skill that benefits all other skills. Meditation. Meditation benefits all areas of your life. Not being emotional. Finding out what the distractions are. The choice to go to the gym. Meditation builds and destroys habits since everything starts with how you see yourself. I am selling a meditation package, but I would be saying this regardless. Don't buy my stuff. That's linked in the description. Please don't check the top link of the description down below. Take action right now by not leaving YouTube and type meditation in the search bar. You've taken the first step. Love.